Hello my friends and welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop design series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I was able to create this flyer inside of Photoshop, right? All you're seeing here in Photoshop. Before we go further, if you've not subscribed, this is the right time to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any videos I'll be dropping in time for now. Without having to say much, you know the drill, let's get started. So the first thing I like to do is I'm going to go ahead to File and click on New like this. Right, so a couple of settings I'm going to be um, doing here. So the first thing I like to do is to give it a name. This is where I'm going to put the name of this particular design. So it's a medical flyer, social media SM. So this is the size I'm going to be using. Well, you're free to use a 4x5. I'm going to use a 5x5 inches, please. Background set to transparent and resolution 300 click on create. Then you're greeted with this interface right so in understanding this interface there's a video of um, um introduction to photoshop that i have done it's right above here so you can click to understand so the first thing i'm going to do is make sure i get my base color so this is the base color i'm going to be using so that's the color code you can copy the color code this is the first color i'm going to be using right so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go over to my rectangle to and with this tool, I'm first going to remove the app. Make sure you don't have outline. I'm going to draw a rectangle. Um, so by default, the color is white. So I can actually change the color. All right. But I'm just going to leave it in that color. So I'm going to use this color. Double click. And uh, I'm going to change it to this color here and click OK, like this. So I have this. The next thing I'm going to do is Ctrl T, hold down Shift while I bring this out just a little bit. Go over to my resource file. The link to this resource file is in the description of the video. So make sure you don't miss the description of this video. Right? Check the description of this video for the link to the resource file. So I'm just going to bring in these images one after the other, resizing them and um, positioning them like this. So I'm just going to resize and um, position them well and clip it so this is how to clip let me control z this click on this and um, right click select clipping mask right so i've also done this in previous videos so feel free to watch my previous videos to learn more there's something to learn in every video you watch something new to learn right so i'm gonna put this here i'm gonna repeat the same process um but first i'm gonna click enter Right click and so let's create clip and mask like this. And um, I'm just going to bring the rest of the image inside like that. Now the other image is gone, but don't worry about that. You can always retrieve it. Click enter and right click and click the mask. You can see that's back. And then of course the next image, which is this one. Same process, same thing. Make it smaller first. And to avoid um, disappearing of the images, you can make sure you are on the top of the layer while you are bringing in these images. All right? I can move this downwards. And you don't have to worry about these extra parts. Right? We'll get rid of them in due time. Stay on top of the layer and uh, bring in the others. So selecting this, drag and drop, and uh, make it smaller, like this, bring this here, and bring this down a little bit, click enter when you're done. 
and uh, the last one but not the least i'm gonna bring this inside here it's going to be on top of this you can see how i've dealt with so i'm gonna clip this and also clip this right make sure everything is clipped to the image you can see it's perfect now but not so perfect so i'm just going to move this upward so this one is behind the other image so let's deal with this particular image mask this select your brush b for brush and uh, make sure your foreground color is set to black All right you can see if it's on white it won't work so set to black remove this part here like this okay so um now that's out of the way i want to make this bigger everybody's smiling select all of them and group this and no convert to smart object please don't group convert to smart objects all right and um, select with the rectangle then group it ctrl g to group and um, i can apply hue and saturation right click and um click the mask make sure it's clicked to the images colorize and um you want to change your saturation here click on the mask on the group folder and um, you want to set your flow to like 76 while you take out the edge that's the hard part yeah you want to be gentle here and for this one i'm just going to reduce the saturation and of course for the images i'm going to reduce the opacity like this So a quick one, if you've not gotten your Smart Designer Premium Assets, it's still very much available. Here you have flyer templates, you have close to 100 flyer templates. And you have social media pack and all of this available for you to hasten your projects and your workflow. All right, so click the link in the description of this video to get yours. So back to our design i'm just going to bring in this background here like this drag and drop like this and uh, bring this out here like this i'm gonna mask this and uh, of course selecting my brush remove the add edges this one here so I can have a nice blend between images right so the next thing I'm going to do is apply blur Gaussian blur to this image you can copy my settings and click OK when you're done like this um, I'm going to reduce the opacity of those images until I get my desired output. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the image of our doctor here. I'm going to bring him here to the side, put him here, make him slightly smaller, bring him down here like this. And um, the good thing is most of these images are already inside of the Smart Designer Premium Asset. So it's a win-win for you when you get yours with your templates, with your PNG images, and it just makes work easy for you. So I'm just going to quickly correct this image. Now to know how I did this, um, I'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step process in my next video. So make sure you don't miss the next video on how to properly correct skin, make your skin smoother and um, adjust it nicely to create the balance right so done that here already but make sure you don't miss my next video 
So I'm just going to go over to camera raw filter while still selecting the image and I'm going to make this image pop more. So first I'm going to reduce the temperature, increase the texture and uh, increase the saturation, increase the clarity and um, I'm going to come over to where I have sharpening i'm going to sharpen this image and when i'm done with all of this i'm going to click ok because you can see the before and after so now the difference is it blends more with the background so i'm going to click on blending option or better still yes blending option and i'm going to select this option here inner glow right so click on it make sure it's grayed out and you can copy my settings here right copy my settings here make sure you're using this color this is the color code click ok and uh, i'll also add an outer glow to this make sure it's grayed out come here Make sure using these settings. So I'm not going to make it too much. I'm just going to leave it here. And uh, we use the spread also. And when I'm done with all of this, I'm going to click OK. Alright, so uh, done with this now. The next thing I'm going to do is now I'm still going to use these images and um okay i'm going over to bring my source file in i'm going to bring in my text i took out time to type um this is my text too right so the font i used is also part of the smart design of premium assets so i'm just going to reduce the background more so that my text can actually pop i don't want it covering i will take in the shine of my text Right, so the next thing I'm going to do is um, let me bring this. I think I like where this is. Um, create a new layer and um, I'm just going to apply this color. And um, create a new layer above this. Flip this and make sure you are selecting this color. And um, just behind him, I'm just going to add some lights. Add lights here. And um, just these three places. Then last one here. So four places. Change the blend mode to linear dodge add. To create some nice light effects. I can reduce this if it's too much. I believe it's good like this right create a new layer and um, the same process but this time i'm just going to leave it this way to create a nice glow effect behind him Go over to your resource file and uh, bring in this image. Right? These are PNG images. They are all part of the Smart Designer Premium Assets. Right? So, um, create a new layer. And um, add some more lights to this. Make sure you're adding the lights in the right places. Make the brush smaller. And um, like I said, make sure you're adding the light in the right places. Add the lights here. And um, change the blend mode to... Okay, I'm just going to leave it in linear dodge. Linear dodge add. And uh, for this, I'm just going to increase the saturation. And I'm going to use my color balance 
and I'm going to make the settings here. So you can copy my settings. I'm going to make sure I tilt towards the blues so that I can make everything in my flyer blend well. Right? And tilt in towards the cyan and the blues because that's the uh, major colors I have. The cyan and the blue. Okay. Now that that's out of the way, I'm going to apply contrast and brightness. I'm going to add some contrast to this. Increase the contrast like this this way. And for brightness, I'm going to reduce the brightness like this. And uh, contrast, not too much. I'm going to invert this because I don't want it on the entire image. And I'm going to select my brush. Make sure it is set to white. And I'm going to add the contrast and the rest of the settings here. And um, all of these places. And um, just be creative with this. And I'm going to reduce the opacity for this. And I have something like this. And there you go. If you've made it to this part of the video, kudos to you. Um, I believe you've been able to create this and it, it was fun for you creating this. Right now to support this channel, if you've gained something good from this video, make sure you like, you share and most importantly, make sure you're subscribed and your post notification is on so that you don't miss any of the videos I'll be dropping after this time around. I'll see you in the next video just up above. Ciao.